Hello gamers. If anyone can hear me. Let me know if sound is loud enough. We got Kai V McLeod. Battle as old as time. I think this is round three maybe. Have you seen this is probably the most storied matchup of the past six months in SA Smash. Kai, when rank came out, had a bit of a renaissance, some may call it. He got a lot better very, very quickly. He uh, got chewed out by uh, Josh Man in general chat, and it changed his outlook on life. He's eating better, his skin looks better, you know. And we've got an ad break for a minute and a half, so insanely obscene <laughs> shit to the people that uh, don't have ad block on on Twitch. Oh really? Well, so can you move your mic up a little bit, just closer to your face? Testing. There we go. That's a lot better. This is the worst time for an ad. Oh, that was sick. The ter tenor catch. You played much against Peach before? No sir. No sir. I played the cloud last week and it did go well. Yeah, I don't think it goes well for most people. <laughs> if that means anything. It's a real gamer. I love that down air slide off down air. Yeah. Kai's got some filthy uh, movement combos. Oh, nice power shield. Dude, what's this going on? Holy shit, Kai reacted quick out of the power shield. Though. Yeah. You, you just kind of have to expect it at this point, you know? They play each other like, in grand finals almost every week. Oh, the classic peak. Get, yeah, getting caught in the ceiling, it. fan, dude. What do you even... It's so frustrating to get hit by that because you know it's coming. You know the Peach player is just thinking, hmm, down on yellow stick. That seems like a good option. Uh, evens it up. Evens it up. It's probably... I mean, Peach loves getting kills off of stray hits. She does it a lot better because she hits so fucking hard. So. It's not like a character like... Uh, I'd say Falco really does not kill off of stray hits very often. Man, I thought saying smart stuff on comms would be so much easier. <laughs> it, it, uh, you just gotta say shit no matter what. So there's one thing I've learned is that the most receptive commentary is just when people are having fun on the mic. It doesn't really matter if it's good or not. Unless you're like, like this is an Evo, you know? This isn't the big house. This is a SA local. So I don't get a feel for the local scene. Those signs were nuts. They always are. Have you worked on your double shine game yet? I've got an okay double shine, but nice. no more than two. No more than two? Nope. I, I think it's harder to multi-shine with Falco than Fox. Why? Uh, the timing's different. With Fox, you just mash it. I play so much Fox, and it's literally just mashing, and you, Falco, and you can like get like 16 fucking multi-shines. It's like a one-two, one-two. Yeah, it's w much different. But man, his shield pressure is brutal. Shit, last dog. Last dog. Nice back air. This is a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice back. This is a lot more even than uh than one might think. Look at this, just sitting. That's so hard for Falco to like reliably cover Peach being directly under. You never really want that to happen. Because you whiff it down air and then all of a sudden you're getting knocked up by up air and you're putting this awful tech chase. Oh that's all right, he's got no jump, but up here is very... He's going to go high. No, nope, goes low. Nice. No, that was really clean. Game one. F5. There we go. How are you enjoying the SA local scene? Oh, I'm so loving far. it. Loving it? Everyone's so welcoming. Basking in it. I got my first win today, so... Woo! Give it up. <laughs> Everybody in chat, I don't know, donate. <laughs> yeah. Or something. It should be good. There we go. I think I play Swagman soon. Oh. I think, fingers crossed, I could take one. Have you had the displeasure of playing against, nay, talking to Swagman? <laughs> I've had both. <laughs> <laughs> no! And you still like this scene? What a travesty. Swagman, maybe the most goblinoid human to ever walk the face of the earth. Both plays Falcon and, uh, I don't know, just is Swagman. 
man, it's so painful to watch Falco in disadvantage state for like a long period of time. Yeah, especially with a punish game like McLeod's. Like, look at that. He just gets a a back air at zero percent and ends up netting a grab off of it so fast. That shit is very, very difficult to do. Swagman's an insecure puff main type of Falcon. All right, I don't know how to take that as a puff main. Hey, make it rain. Make it rain, it's MC on comps. We played last night on. Ooh. <laughs> Did you win? Um, well, my girlfriend made soup, so I had to leave right away. Oh, uh, what? I'm she gonna made say, <laughs> I'm gonna say rain usually wins. <laughs> rain takes 9 out of 10. Sorry, man, gotta go. Soup is ready. <laughs> my girlfriend makes good soup. What kind of soup is it? It's chicken soup, and I like lots of protein, so it's like yep. four chicken breasts in there. Damn. That is an insane amount of protein. Poor chicken bread. Is it flavored with anything other than chicken? Was it just chicken and hot water? <laughs> chicken and chicken broth? Yeah. That's how I like it. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm a big fan of uh, scrambled eggs every morning. Yeah? Yeah. Well, whenever mornings I can be bothered to like, buy eggs because they're such a pain in the ass to keep for a long time. I eat Very six, easy to cook. I eat six scrambled eggs every morning, like religiously. And With in butter? Australia, or? that's so expensive. Yeah, they are. <laughs> are they, are they cheaper rent? in Canada? So much cheaper. Really? Is, yeah. yeah. It, we, we've been getting price gouged by uh, the local super, well, local supermarkets. Record profits. If you're a true Australian, or even just staying here, remember to shoplift at Woolies. <laughs> I shoplift every time I'm there. Pick up a thing of monsters. They don't know the difference. The, the trick is, if anyone's listening, you scan, you get a four pack of monsters and you scan the can and it fucks up and somebody will come along and say, oh, no, no, no worries. Like, because there's no way you're buying a single can. So, and they, like, if this is in a four pack, the barcode doesn't go through. That's genius. Yep. And then you get a a free thing of monsters every time. Which if you're a sleep deprived oh, whoops, sleep deprived uni student like me, it's brilliant. You know the TV show My Name is Earl though? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I kinda of believe it, like not legitimately, but I think karma's a thing. Like I had to pick up trash on my way here so I'd get my first dub. So <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be getting monsters <laughs> like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why my controller broke, because I keep shoplifting from Wally's. <laughs> you buy one less monster, <laughs> that controller's working perfect. You know, I watch a, uh, quite a lot of Let Letterkenny. Uh, that's an, a Canadian show, right? Yeah. Quite good. Sure. Yeah, very funny show. I'm sure a lot of it goes over my head, considering I'm not from there. I do want to move to Canada, actually, yeah. for a working visa after I finish my course. Right. You get a working visa uh, for up to one year after you finish a course, a uh, uni course. So I love that soft hit out there. How like, good, man. You gotta get in touch with me. Gotta after get in this, touch. I'll get <laughs> some good recommendations <laughs> on Home Sweet Home. Stay in, uh, become so, AMSA. Yeah, become I'll, AMSA. I'm a little different than AMSA, man. Built different. B built, di built worse, <laughs> some men say. <laughs> Bro's got a wife, uh, plays melee at a high level. He tweets that he's like deadlifting two plates and shit. What? It's like, hell yeah, Amza. Amza's deadlifting two plates? That's, that's insane. That's like pretty good. Yeah, have you seen <laughs> the dude, man? Yeah, that's true. He's very, he's probably got more muscle than me. I'm what the pros call, and bodybuilders call skinny fat. If you don't know, it's really hard for Zeke to attain. Become Josh, I'll be right. I don't like growing a beard. Or being like fucking six foot ten or however, however tall Josh is. Damn. He's a big, big dude. I think there was a match with Josh playing on Pokemon Stadium with transformations, <laughs> and he was playing against Spark or someone with glasses, and they were sitting on opposite sides, and Spark goes to like, they're waiting out the transformation. Spark goes to wash his glasses, and then Josh acts like he's about to run in, and it's like the funniest moment. <laughs> he like psychs him out. Yeah. That's so good. That's such a Josh man thing to do. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Hey man, you've just gotta... He's camping him out so hard right now. Jab shine is cool. Yeah. Well, Kai is amazing at, uh, at this matchup. Let's say would be almost impossible for any peach other than the final country to take it. 
Poor Spark? No, not poor Spark. Spark plays Sheik, right? Yeah. Plays a lot with CPU Zero. Shout out to CPU Zero. One of the most helpful people in the Jigglypuff Discord. Uh, taught me how to RTC rest. Fuck CPU Zero, fuck you, Ren. Man, Actually, I, I don't mean that. Man, I don't want to say anything mean, but I feel like I could RTC rest. <laughs> yeah, you, you should give it a crack. It's the, the difficulty of it is like... It's hard. If you fuck it up, you're in three seconds of lag. And same with like any rest. You can, uh, yeah, I can RTC <laughs> rest as well. Yeah, Rain, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Dude, Kai was up three stocks. Yeah, but you forgot the McLeod factor. See this guy fucking punch the air? It's all over for you. You scooch this guy into frame a little bit. There we go. He just did that IRL. I didn't move anything on the stream. McLeod's got uh, wheels on the bottom of his chair. <laughs> and he controls them with his fucking cheat box. How can this man show that much? It powers him up. I'm genuinely convinced that McLeod's fucking mental. If he, his will to win is so much greater than any mental tilt that he gets on. Oh, that was foul. I was sure that what an ang, sure man. That. What an ang. Call that one the mangle. The M2K angle. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Ah, very insightful. Lapis Lazulu 